Hi, I'm going to a cafe today and meet a friend of mine and then I'm go we are going to a museum called Contemporary Nottingham and the purpose of this video is to show you the living cost of Nottingham and the different places Nottingham offer and then after that I'm going to give you a live update and answer some of your questions. Before proceeding with the video if you are looking for an accommodation near your university you should have a look at Amber Student. It offers free and personalized assistance, free cancellations and a no visa no pay policy. Link in the description box. This is what I'm wearing today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I look very nice. We are at Hungry Pumpkin with my friend Fari Rai. Hi! She's a YouTuber as well. I'm gonna link her YouTube channel somewhere here. Starving. Where's my food? Food has been served. Look at your breakfast. I know. And look at mine. <laughs> These are my childhood biscuits, by the way. This is how other YouTubers, female YouTubers, eat. Oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> reality of eating <laughs> food <laughs> how was your breakfast it was so nice i really really liked it i enjoyed it look at the place behind you picture of piano i know and it's such a nice building we've got pizza misu right there hungry pumpkin over there and then right in front of us we have a museum which is where we are going now and it's free right yeah it's free that looks like? I think it looks like a perfume bottle when you spray it. You know like the spray ones. And then what else? Um, also there's a pomegranate. <laughs> looks like a candle. Could also be a shisha. Shisha something. <laughs> Did you enjoy the museum? I loved it. It was really cool. And like there was one room especially that was my favorite, the one with the elevator. It looks so real. I've never been to Nottingham Contemporary. It's my first time and before going inside I thought there were going to be more stuff, more art and more rooms, but it's just the first floor and then the second floor is for kids and there's a cafe and that's it. We are going to the bookshop Waterstones and I think it's three four floors. I really enjoy spending my time here in bookshops, browse books, you can find anything here at Waterstones in Nottingham. You got a cafe as well. I enjoy spending quiet time, smell books, but this is not the place where I get books from. I go to libraries here around Nottingham where books are free. Here they're pretty much expensive. <laughs> or I go to charity shops where books are around one, two pounds. I read this book. 
I read this book. This author actually studied medicine at the University of Nottingham, just here where I live, where I study. But nothing beats the kite runner. This is my favorite book. I need to buy a planner, but not here because they're quite expensive. Yeah. Show me what you bought. So I bought a student planner. You can like, you know, organize my life. <laughs> I'm so sorry about the awkward situations. I just just uh, I forgot how to socialize. Oh, it's fine. It's I think I forgot as well. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is the second day since I went to the cafe with my friend. Today I decided to go to have some sushi in one of my favorite places ever here in Nottingham. More precisely in Beeston. They're making a 30% of discount, so I decided to take advantage of it. And I'm leaving Nottingham towards the end of August, so I want to enjoy this beautiful city to the fullest. And expensive food. I used a wrong adjective. It's not good, it's excellent. I actually highly recommend you whenever you visit Nottingham, when you have the chance, go when there's this student at the university who is from Japan and he plays a Japanese instrument and you can imagine how your experience is going to be taken to the next level basically if you go to Japanese Kitchen Sora. This is my outfit of the day white trousers. I'm wearing the colors of the Japanese flag, not because I'm going to Kitchen Sora. I was in the mood of wearing red and white. I socialized so much today that I feel like I need two years of isolation. I need to lock myself in my room, have some dialogues with myself, spend some good alone quality time on my own, in my room, recharge myself you know, introverted needs. After two years, I'm ready to talk to people in real life again. Anyway, let me give you some life updates. If you don't care about me talking crap, you can always stop the video and watch something else. If you care about me, here's my first life update. I started my final elective placement of the year at the cardiac intensive care, which I enjoy. I was worried about my mind and body going crazy. Turns out I enjoy night shifts. They're quiet and I'm still going to carry on practicing learning on night shifts. Elective placement, for those who don't know, means that I'm able to practice nursing anywhere around the world for four weeks for a month and I was thinking to do nursing in Canada or New Zealand but then Covid happened and here I am practicing nursing in Nottingham. How exciting. Second life update. Towards the end of the month I'm moving somewhere I don't like. Will no longer live in Nottingham. I'm still going to make videos when I come here because I still have one more year of nursing but I'm not going to live here year anymore sadly other life update it's been four months since i started kickboxing and i'm loving it okay i've got a question from kent byron brian what is it that youtube makes me happy is it the job opportunities is it traveling opportunity yes I've been able to make YouTube videos for the University of Nottingham. The university hasn't uploaded any of my videos yet. I don't know why, but I'm, 
I've I've been paid at least, so that's not too bad. Traveling opportunities definitely. I'm able to discover, explore new places and interview people, which I absolutely love. I like listening to people's lives, their experiences where they live, how they live. I'm confident talking with a camera, so that's a skill, as well as video editing is a new skill that I learned. I can use Final Cut Pro, I can use Adobe Premiere Pro. Definitely the community is very important. In real life, I wouldn't be able to talk to 5,000 people. That would be exhausting, tiring for an introverted person like me. The social limitation, the barrier, the interaction through social media, the screen is helping me to build a community, to express myself, to give value to you and still have this privacy if you know what I mean. YouTube is my way of expressing myself. I do a lot of funny and silly things. I don't know if people find the things that I do funny but at least they are for me especially when it comes to edit my videos. I re-watch myself and I laugh so much. I have a lot of fun and because of YouTube, I'm able to work from a laptop. I enjoy the lifestyle. I've been able to monetize my hobby. So YouTube, yes, it, it makes me happy. And finally, I've been talking non-stop, talking crap about myself. I think a lot of people got fed up and left the video. Okay, bye. <laughs>